All right, I wanted to take a look at my most recent DC Comics statue. This is DC Comics Cover Girls Batgirl. Uh, the box is kind of nice. I rather dig the the new unified style. It's not fantastic, but it's not terrible. Matches the Ar Arkham City Harley Quinn one I have pretty well. If I was to actually display the boxes, they would. Uh, I like the zoomed in view, I guess. But it's just a box, so who cares? Is that too bright? Let's bring in the statue. This is Batgirl, I believe, in her new 52 uniform costume. I don't know. I don't read comics. Comics are for nerds. I buy toys and statues. Um, since I have O's handy, here's Figure Arts O's. He is about just over five and a half inches tall, um, which is like 14 centimeters for you weird people. And she is 10 inches tall to the top of her ears, or uh, what was it, about 20, 25 centimeters. Um, sculpt is really nice. Lots of lines on. I like the armored look in the new 52 for at least characters like Batman and Batgirl who should be wearing armor because they're fighting hand to hand. The different texture there makes it look like it's armor on top of a bodysuit, so it has flexibility for moving. This is something I don't like, and this, I guess, is just the design of the statue. The cape looks way narrow right there. It's almost as narrow as her waist, which is pretty narrow. And then it flares out so big down there, it just it looks weird. It's, it is kind of folded over here. But still, that's just weird. It should not, shouldn't scoop in that much. Um, I like the pose. It looks a little weird from certain angles. But like she's getting ready to throw the batarang. I like it. Um, the only other thing I really have a problem with this is it's really loose. It just pops right out of the base. Super easy. So if I go to move her, which I don't do very often, the base doesn't come. Speaking of the base, it is cool. I like the recessed line there and the bat symbol, the way it traces around. The purple paint is kind of metallic-y. It looks really good. Um, I guess it's really narrow. It's too narrow, perhaps. It's nice that it's not a giant, huge, ridiculous, you know, taking up a giant space that she doesn't need, but it's, it's more narrow than her cape is, so it seems like it's a little small. And, let's see too loose. I got the low, low number of 144 out of 5,200. Made in China. Um, I recommend it. I got a good deal on it, thanks to my buddy Jordan. Um, but it seems like it runs around 90 to 100 bucks on various online stores, and I think it looks cool. Hold that thought. My light box is just big enough to display these statues the way I display them on the shelf like this and I think they'll look really good together even though strictly speaking it's from three different three different design aesthetics since it's the original Harley Quinn the Arkham City video game Harley Quinn and the new 52 Batgirl I think they look really good together and I am excited to get the upcoming Huntress and Batwoman statues that I will try and stick on the same shelf with these girls so, I'm a fan of several of these DC Direct, DC Collectibles statues. Um, they're pretty good. Thanks for watching.